About 15 years ago, I was in this conference and uh, this technique called gaze tracking was presented there. And there was this kid, a uh, 10 years old girl with cerebral palsy. So they put her on a chair and presented her with a screen on which a virtual keyboard was shown. And now using gaze tracking, she was able to write, hello, my name is Carlotta. That was a, such a moving moment. And that's where I decided that I wanted to work in this specific area of robotics, yes. Here at FAU, we are in the area of rehabilitation and assistive robotics. So that means conceiving, building and testing devices which help people with musculoskeletal conditions regain their lost functions. Rehabilitation is about helping people in a therapy. So for instance, after a stroke, Assistive robotics is more about uh, people who cannot walk anymore or uh, people with amputations. So in that case, our devices need to become a life companion of these people. My keyword is translation. My idea here is that if we don't translate our ideas effectively to the clinics and then possibly to the market or to the society, then it's useless. So, if your solution only works in your lab, and it's like uh, the typical engineer's toy, right? I'm an engineer as well, so I know what I'm talking about. We're so, we're so proud of our own toys, we build them and they work in the lab, but then they must work on people with people in the clinics. And that's the main point here. So I hope that in the turn of 10 to 15 years, we can make an impact on people who are suffering in the clinics here in the area and as well in Germany and why not in the whole world.